It's another video. Today we're going to be tackling uh, chapter 2 from College Panda math section and I'll be solving the even number questions as a exercise. Alright, so Veronica has a bank that earns M% interest compounded annually. If you open the account with $200, the expression $200x to the power of t represents the amount in the account after t years. Which of the following gives x in terms of m? So here the answer is a. So because each year Veronica, she keeps whatever she has in her account. Additionally, she, there's an added interest on that amount. And because m is a percentage, we can convert it into the decimal place by dividing it by dividing it by 100 which will give us 0.01m. So thus, the answer is A. Alright, question 4. This table below shows the number of box springs and mattresses so units sold over 4 weeks at a bank store. Each week accounts for approximately 32% of all the box spring units sold. So for this, we can just input it into our calculator, or we can do it by hand. Near we can see of all box units sold, so it's talking about this number. So we gotta improve 38 over 167, 42 over 167, 53 to 167, and 34 to 167. And since it's 32%, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be C. Uh, mattresses accounted for approximately what percentage of all units sold during one, week 1. Here we can go over here again. So week 1 there is a total of 85. And since mattresses will account for 47 of the 85, we can divide them by each other. 47 divided by 85 which will give us 55.3. Uh, Alright, let's move on to question 8. The discount price of a book is 20% less than the retail price. James manages to purchase the book at 30% off the discount price at a special book sale. What percent of the retail price did James pay? Alright, so let's let the original price of the book be a simple number, like $100. So this is the original price of the book. So we can see that James then bought the book at a 20% less than the retail price and also at the 30% discount price. So here we can just write it like this. Multiplied by the discount price. And this will give us 100 multiplied by 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So the reason behind this is because we're discounting by 20%. Thus, the remaining that we need, we need to multiply by is 80%. The same goes, the same explanation applies for this one as well. Since he manages to purchase the book at 30% off the discount price at a special book sale. So thus, we have to combine these two, which will give us 56%. Uh, moving on to question 10. Joanne bought a doll at a 10% discount off the original price of $105.82. However, she has to pay a sales tax of X% percent on the discounted price. If the total amount she paid for the doll was $100, what is the value of X? Alright, so here, since she paid a sales tax, we can convert it to a percentage at the end. Alright, so it's a 10% discount off first, so first we write the value, the original price, then multiply it by the percentage, which will give uh, 90% or 0 0.9. And then we add 1 plus x, because we don't know the percentage of the sales tax yet. And this will equal to 100, because this is the total amount she paid for the doll and basically you can reorganize this equation and solve it for x 
So 1 plus x, 100, 105.82, multiplied by 0 0.9. Uh, this would be 1, and then also x equals 100, this one, and then subtract by 1, you should get uh, 5%. So the answer is D. All right, let's move on to question 12. Over a two week span, John ate 20 pounds of chicken wings and 15 pounds of hot dogs. Cow ate 20% more chicken wings and 40% more hot dogs. Now, considering only chicken wings and hot dogs, Cow ate approximately X percent more food by weight than John. What is the X percent? All right, so. Let's write an equation for Kyle first. So Kyle ate 20% more, 20, 20 pounds. Uh, John ate 20 pounds and he ate 20% more. So one of the 20% of 20 pounds, 1.20. So thus he have a 24 chicken wings. And we can apply the same concept here for the hot dogs. And we get 21 pounds of hot dogs. So we can just add these together, which will get 45. And now we can use the percentage error formula, which is uh, this value subtract by the old value, 35, 35. So I got 35 from the 20 pounds of chicken wings and the 15 pounds of hot dogs. And then this will equal to 0 0.29 and we multiply it by 100 to get 29%. All right, let's move on to question 14. Due to this deforestation, researchers expect the deer population to decline by 6% every year. If the current population of 12,000, what is the approximate expected population size 10 years from now? <clears throat> All right, so here we can use the simple formula of the percentage. So initial and then since it's declining by 6%, it's 0 0.94. And the number of years is above here as a power. And since it's 10 years, we have 10 here. And we'll get about 6,460. 6, yeah. So B is the answer. Moving on to question 16. A small clothing store sells three different types of accessories, 20% are scarves, 60 are ties, and the other 40 accessories are belts. If half of the ties are replaced with scarves, how many scarves will the store have? Alright, so since scarves and ties makes up 80% of the accessories, the 40 belts must be 20%. So 20% of X must be equal to 40. So thus X is 200. This is because 20% is can be rewritten as one over five. And if we move the five over, we get 200. So here we can see that there are 200 accessories in total in the store. And now let's simplify this by making an equation. So we can determine that there's one over five times multiplied by 200 to get the scarves. So we get 40 scarves. And 3 over 5 multiplied by 200 to get the ties, which is 120. And since half of the ties, 120, half of 120 is 60, are replaced with scarves, the store will end up having 40 plus 60. So this will be 100 scarves. So the answer is 100. Now let's move on to the last question of today. Kristen opens a bank account that earns 4% interest each year compounded once every two years. If she opened the account with K dollars, which of the following expressions represent the total amount in the account after T years? All right, so since it's compounded once every two years, the interest is earned is T over two, where T is years. So here we can straight off the bat eliminate A 
and C because it's compounded once every two years. All right, so it either has to be A or B, and we can see that it earns 4% interest every year. So initially, you'd think that the answer is B. However, since the interest rate must be doubled to get the rate earned over two over a two year span, the answer is D. So the four percent will turn into eight percent. Thus the answer is D. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys in the next chapter chapter review. Thank you guys for watching.